Hello folks, welcome back. Where I'm the one, the only, I am the Macho Man Hobo Tom, yeah. And I'm here to talk about one thing and one thing only, and that's gonna be some pro wrestling. We have Elimination Chamber coming up. I don't know if I should shake hands or slap faces. Oh yeah. I might do 360 degrees and maybe another 180 after that. Because the cream always rises to the top. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's me channeling the Macho Man. Again, my gorgeous Macho Man t-shirt that I've had that's getting well worn. I'm here to talk about Vengeance Day. So wait. Hit my... Action is made. There we go. Now it's time for a proper introduction. I'm here to talk about predictions for not Vengeance Day. What am I saying? Elimination Chamber. I'm confused. All I know is I have to go to work soon. I want to get this video made and start the editing process. Let that let the computer do its work. And then Speed Week, baby! It's the week of the Daytona 500. Oh, wow. It's the week I so look forward to. It's also the week... That I cannot wait until it ends. It's it's weird like that. I still do not have anything up on the door of wrestling. Yeah, that's going to take some time. Listen, I'm happy I got my pinup calendar there. My books are all set. I'm back fully moved in. I'm happy. Um, again, if you haven't seen it, check out the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. That's the previous video I put up. Again, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Makes me feel happy. So let's talk about some of my predictions, like every other res wrestling podcast out there, or YouTube cast. I've heard things that YouTube might go away because of uh, stuff. Uh, we shall see. I know at one time YouTube was the greatest. YouTube used to be the Wild West, and then they got like corporate backing, and then they said to you. So, probably the first match you can kind of miss, because I actually have it as a snooze. It's going to be Edge and Beth Phoenix taking on Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley, part of Judgment Night. I don't see the show opening any other way. Um, this is going to set the tone. You always want the faces to win the first match. Edge and Be Beth Phoenix are going to win. Again, you can kind of take a nap, cat nap through it. Then, see, I don't know how long it takes to set up the Elimination Chamber. Or if they'll just have it set up and just, like, have the matches on it minus the, minus the seal grading. I forget how they do things. It's been a while. Um, well, probably the Women's Elimination Chamber next. We have Asuka. Evil Asuka. Which I'm beginning to like more and more. Liv Mor versus Liv Morgan versus Nikki, Glenn versus Nikki Cross. Because she's back to being Nikki Cross, thankfully. Versus Raquel Rodriguez versus Natalia Neidhart versus Carmella. Natalia's not winning. I don't care that they're in Canada. Carmella's not winning. She never wins. Raquel is way too green. Liv, I don't know. She had it and did nothing with it. Nikki Cross would be interesting, but she's had it before. I think mainly because of her new persona, Asuka. Because Asuka is my choice to win the women's Elimination Chamber match. And then what I'm just going to call my match of the night. Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. You know this is the match you always wanted to see. This is becoming like boxing where they're a little bit past their prime. But still, Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. Oh, please. Give us like a two minute shoot wrestling event. Please. A shoot collegiate wrestling event for like a minute and a half, two minutes. Make this match 10 minutes. First two and a half, they go collegian style. First two minutes, they go collegian style. Then they go all pro wrestling. Again, if you're old school like me, you've been wanting to see this match for a while. It's my match of the night because I think this is going to be. If it goes more than 10 minutes, it might be weird. A good solid 10 minute match for these two. 
looks solid. I have Bobby Lashley winning. But I could see Brock Lesnar winning and him challenging for the U.S. belt. And then he has the claim that he's won all the belts. So I don't know. Bobby Lashley wins. You know what? And honestly, all of us win for this match. Then we have the men's elimination chamber. It has Austin Theory versus Seth Rollins versus Johnny Gargano versus Bronson Reed versus Dame, Damian Priest versus Montez Ford. Damian Priest and Montez Ford are part of tag teams. They're not going to do anything. Austin and Seth don't like each other. Johnny Gargano is the wild card. Johnny Gargano is too small to win. He's there as filler material. I'm going to go out on a limb, folks. I'm going to say Bronson Reed wins the U.S. title. They didn't bring him back for nothing. Bronson Reed wins. And then next, my stone cold lock of the night. We have Roman Reigns taking on Sami Zayn. Roman Reigns is not losing that belt till WrestleMania when it's Cody's turn. Very simply, Roman Reigns wins. And that's it. I am enjoying these shorter wrestling cards. Well, I would be enjoying them if I could watch them, but I have to work. I have to be at work. This is Saturday. I have to be at work from 8.15 a.m. until whenever. Actually, I probably have to be at work at 7.45 a.m. because I get a clock and a half hour early. The meeting's at 8.15 a.m. Crew gets there about 8.45, 9 o'clock, I think. Then we figure, figure things out, assuming they gave me the right schedule because sometimes they do not. Yep, but that is Elimination Chambers. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for their outpouring of support. Again, check out my other videos. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I'll get back to you as to what happened during this. Again, it's a thing called work. Got to make money somehow. Need to pay the bills. Talk to everyone later.